First, with justice, I salute my Argos and my gods, my accomplices who brought me home and won my rights from Pyrium's Troy, the just gods. No need to hear our pleas. Once and for all, they consigned their lots to the urn of blood. They pitched on death for men, annihilation for the city. Hope's hand, hovering over the urn of mercy, left it empty. Look for the smoke. It is the city's sea mark, building even now. The storms of ruin live. Her last dying breath, rising up from the ashes, sends us gales of incense, rich in gold. For that we must thank the gods with sacrifice, our sons will long remember. For their mad outrage of a queen, we raped their city, we were right. The beast of Argos, foils of the wild mare, thousands massed in armor, rose on the night. The Pleiades went down, crashing through their walls, our bloody lion lapped its fill, gorging on the blood of kings. Our thanks to the gods, long drawn out but it is just the prelude. And your concern, old man, is on my mind. I hear you and agree. I will support you. How rare men with the character to praise a friend's success without the trace of envy, poison to the heart. It deals a double blow. Your own losses weigh you down, but then look at your neighbor's fortune and you weep. Well, I know. I understand society. The flattering mirror of the proud. My comrades, their shadows, I tell you. Ghosts of men who swore they'd die for me. Only Odysseus. I dragged that man to the wars, but once in harness, he was a trace horse. He gave all his life for me. Dead or alive, no matter. I can praise him. And now, this cause involving men and gods, we must summon the city for a trial. Found a national tribunal, whatever is healthy, store it up with the law and help it flourish. Whatever something calls for drastic cures, we make our noblest effort. Amputate or wield the healing iron, burn the cancer at the roots. Now I go to my father's house. I give the gods my right hand, my first salute. The ones who sent me forth have brought me home. Victory, you have sped my way before. Now speed me to the last. Old nobility of Argos, gathered here, I am not ashamed to tell you how I love the man. I am older, and the fear dies away. I am human. Nothing I say was learned from others. This is my life, my ordeal, long as the siege he laid at Troy and more demanding. First, when a woman sits at home and the man is gone, the loneliness is terrible, unconscionable, and the rumors spread and fester. A runner comes with something dreadful. Close on his heels, the next, and his news worse. And they shout it out, and the whole house can hear. And wounds, if he took one wound for each report to penetrate these walls, he's gashed like a dragnet. More, if he had only died. For each death that swelled his record, he could boast, like a triple-bodied Garion risen from the grave. Three shrouds I dug from the earth, one for everybody that went down. The rumors broke like fever, broke and then rose higher. There were times they cut me down and eased my throat from the noose. I wavered between the living and the dead. And so our child is gone, not standing by our side. The bond of our dearest pledges, mine and yours. By all rights, our child should be here. Orestes, you seem startled. You needn't be. Our loyal brother in arms will take good care of him. Strophios and Phocian. He warned from the start we court two griefs in one. You risk all on the wars. And what if the people rise up howling for the king, and anarchy should dash our plans? Men, it is their nature, trampling on the fighter once he's down. Our child is gone. That is my self-defense, and it is true. For me, the tears that welled like springs are dry. I have no tears to spare. I'd watch till late at night, my eyes still burn. I sobbed by the torch I lit for you alone. I never let it die, but in my dreams the high, thin wail of a gnat would rouse me. Piercing like a trumpet, I could see you suffer more than all the hours that slept with me could ever bear. I endured it all, and now, free of grief, I would salute that man, the watchdog of the fold, the main royale, saving stay of the vessel, rooted oak that thrusts the roof sky high, the father's one true heir. Land at dawn, to the ship wrecked past all hope, Light of the morning, burning of the night of storm, the cold, clear spring to the parched horseman. Oh, the ecstasy to flee the yoke of fate. 
It is right to use the titles he deserves. Let envy keep her distance. We have suffered long enough. Come to me now, my dearest. Down from the car of war. But never set the foot that stamped out Troy on earth again, my great one. Let the red stream flow and bear him home to the home he never hoped to see. Justice, lead him in. Leave all the rest to me. The spirit within me never yields to sleep. We will set things right with the God's help. We will do whatever fate requires. There is Leda's daughter, the keeper of my house, and the speech to suit my absence much too long. But the praise that does us justice, let it come from others, then we prize it. This, you treat me like a woman, groveling, gaping up at me. What am I, some barbarian peacocking out of Asia? Never cross my path with robes and draw the lightning. Never. Only the gods deserve the pomps of honor and the stiff brocades of fame. To walk on them, I am human. It makes my pulses stir with dread. Give me the tributes of a man and not a god. A little earth to walk on, not this gorgeous work. There is no need to sound my reputation. I have sense of right and wrong. What's more, heaven's proudest gift. Call no man blessed until he ends his life in peace, fulfilled. If I can live by what I say, I have no fear. One thing more. Be true to your ideals and tell me. True to my ideals? Once I violate them, I am lost. Would you have sworn this act to God in a time of terror? Yes, if a prophet called for a last drastic rite. But Priam, can you see him if he had your success? Striding on the tapestries of God, I see him now. And you fear the reproach of common men? The voice of the people, aye, they have enormous power. Perhaps, but where's the glory without a little gall? And where's the woman in all this lust for glory? But the great victor, it becomes him to give way. Victory in this war of ours, it means so much to you? Oh, give way. The power is yours if you surrender all of your own free will to me. Enough, if you are so determined. These old slaves, they've stood me well. While I tread his splendors, dyed red in the sea, may no god watch and strike me down with envy from on high. I feel such shame to tread the life of the house, a kingdom's worth of silver in the weaving. Done is done. Escort this stranger in. Be gentle. Conquer with compassion. Then the gods shine down upon you gently. No one chooses the yoke of slavery, not one's free will. And she, least of all, the gifts of the armies, flower and pride of all the wealth we won, she follows me from Troy. And now, since you have brought me down with your insistence, just this once I enter my father's house, trampling royal crimson as I go. There is the sea, and who will drain it dry? Precious as silver, inexhaustible, ever new, it breathes the more we reap it. Tides on tides of crimson dye, our robes blood red. Our lives are based on wealth, my king. The gods have sent, seen to that. Destitution, our house has never heard the word. I would have sworn to tread on legacies of robes at one command from an oracle. Deplete the house, suffer the worst to bring that dear life back. When the root lives on, the new leaves come back, spreading a dense shroud of shade across the house to thwart the dog star's fury. So you return to the Father's hearth, you bring us warmth in the winter like sun. And you are Zeus when Zeus tramples the bitter virgin grave for new wine. And the welcome chill steals through the halls, at last the master moves among the shadows of his house, fulfilled. Zeus, Zeus, master of all fulfillment, now fulfill our prayers, speed our rites to their fulfillment once for all. Won't you come inside? I mean you, Cassandra. Zeus, in all his mercy, wants you to share some victory libations with the house. The slaves are flocking. Come, lead them up to the altar of the god who guards our dearest treasures. Down from the chariot, this is no time for pride. Why, even Heracles, they say, was sold into bondage long ago. He had to endure the bitter bread of slaves. But if the yoke descends on you, be grateful for a master born and reared in ancient wealth. Those who reap a harvest past their hopes are merciless to their slaves. From us, you will receive what custom says is right.
unless she's like a swallow, possessed of her own barbaric song. Strange, dark. I speak directly as I can. She must obey. Do it now. I have no time to spend outside. Already the victims crowd the hearth, the navel stone, to bless this day of joy I never hope to see. Our victims waiting for the fire and the knife, and you, if you want to taste our mystic rites, come now. If my words can't reach you, give her a sign, one of her exotic hand signs. I think the stranger needs an interpreter, someone clear. She's like a wild creature, fresh caught. She's mad, her evil genius murmuring in her ears. She comes from a city fresh caught. She must learn to take the cutting brittle before she foams her spirit off in blood. And that's the last I waste on her contempt. Not I. I pity her. I will be gentle. Come, poor thing. Leave the empty chariot. Of your own free will, try on the yoke of fate.